So here we are with all of our lovely Tupperware products. We have the salt and pepper shakers, the butter dish, um, I have an older measuring cup and a newer measuring cup, and our steamer. So I am going to cook up green beans in my steamer, and the steamer is good for fruits, vegetables, fish, or poultry. Um, there are three pieces to it, so you have the, the top part, the middle part, and then the bottom. And the bottom is where you will put your water, and then you'll put your, um, depending upon what you're making, you can put either your fish and poultry in here, and then a uh, fruit and vegetable in here, or vice versa, you can put your vegetable in here, and then your... Um, fish or poultry in here. But I'm just making green beans so I'm not going to use this top part. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out and do the minimum of, you can see there, it says one three-fourth cup and then there's a line. So I'm going to go ahead and add my water. And then go ahead and put this on. And I already have my green beans measured out, and I'm just going to dump them right in here. And these are frozen green beans. And then I'm going to go ahead and just season them. So I've got some salt, some pepper, and then some butter. And the book does tell you how long to cook. Um, it does give a list of how long to cook something for and so I'm gonna follow the guidelines for the green beans which is 12 ounces um, and 10 minutes for my microwave because my microwave is super powerful um, if you have a a microwave that's not as powerful then of course it's going to be more time um, and because my microwave actually is over the wattage um, I have to go ahead and reduce the power. So now that that's done, all I do is go ahead and just put the lid back on, and then I'm going to stick this in the microwave just like this. Um, 12 ounces in my microwave will be about 10 minutes, but I had about um, more than 12 ounces of green beans in here. So I'm going to put the time in a little bit longer. I'm still messing around with how long it takes for me to cook stuff because I'm learning my microwave because like I said, it's super powerful so I definitely have to reduce it so that I can keep my Tupperware looking nice and fresh. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this cook and then I will show what it looks like when it's done. So here we are with our green beans in our steamer and um, I cooked it on 20 minutes um, and I, it's recommended that you don't pull this out of the microwave. Um, the handles here will be hot, so you do want to use pot holders. So don't just put your hands on there and pull it right out of the microwave. You will get burned. Um, now when I go to open the lid, it's going to be very hot and steamy, so it's recommended that when you go to open it, if you want to still hold, um, put a pot holder on and open it, I would do that, and then you're going to open it away from you and then I don't know if you can see all the steam there that's coming out from the steamer. Um, so don't, don't open it like this because then you're going to get burned. So open it away from you. And there we have our fresh green beans, all nice and hot and steamy um, and soft. So these look pretty soft, not crunchy. The last time I made them, I cooked them to where they were still just a little bit firm. This time I cooked them to where they're nice and soft. Um, so if you want a new way to um, steam your fruits and your vegetables and your fish and your poultry without having to stand over top the stove, um, I highly recommend the steamer. I was able to go ahead and get everything cooked and just stick these right in the microwave and not even have to worry about them and I have fresh green beans.